Okay, as a Christian, you need to know this, all right? The Bible makes it clear that there's going to be a nuclear war, all right? The Bible also makes it clear that the Antichrist will sign a seven-year peace deal with Israel at some point and then betray that agreement after three and a half years. So, in the coming years or months, look for a peace deal, a no-nuke peace deal with Obama and Iran and also make sure from the time you hear about that peace deal, you got three and a half years to get away and move away from any major city that you might be living in. Because the peace deal is broken by a thermonuclear war. That's just my that's just my speculation. But three and a half years after a seven year agreement with Israel and there will be a nuclear attack so people say how long do we have how long do we have when's this nuclear thing gonna happen I think it's gonna happen after an agreement is made with Iran and Obama okay that would make Obama the Antichrist okay I know it's crazy. I never would have guessed this like a year and a half ago. I never, I never saw it coming. I never saw it coming. But I think this is it. I don't know for sure. I'm not saying. I'm just so excited about it though, because I'm like, praise God, the end is near. Okay, so but this is a warning to Christians. If you stay in the city, and that peace deal is broken. I mean, I'm telling you, it's going to be thermonuclear war. So, you know, I'm just saying, you might want to be at Crown Zero and just go up and be with God. Just be right in the middle of that atomic blast and just, you know. But if you want to prolong your life and see, like, the mark of the beast released and, and, and just, like, the culmination of the age, the end of the age. And you know why I'm so excited? People are always talking about, this is the end times, this is the end times. No, it's almost the beginning of the coming age, the next age of God where Jesus comes back, we're raptured and we get to be with God and he reigns from Jerusalem. So some people say it's the end of this world, yes, but it's really the beginning. For those of you who are Christians, yeah, the unsaved, they need to be, they need to be weeping and wailing and really afraid and sad and if you're a christian and i were to tell you you know that there's going to be a seven-year deal that's going to be brokered in the next six months i'm just saying i'm not saying god is saying that but if i were to say that and it were true and then after that you have three and a half years before there's thermonuclear war and right after that war the mark of the beast comes out i'm just saying if that makes you want to cry and be all sad then there might be a problem in your heart but if think if it makes you say, "Oh, praise God, the end is near. We're gonna be going home to be with Jesus," that's the way your attitude should be. But I'm excited because Netanyahu's gonna come and speak to Congress in two days, and I think out of this, this whole all this, you know, confrontation, that they're gonna broker a deal, and I think you know how Muslims are; they don't. They'll tell you straight up, oh, okay, we're going to have a deal. And they're going to continue to enrich uranium and continue to work towards having nu nuclear um, capability. And it's going to take them three and a half years. And then out of nowhere, they're going to surprise attack. And it's going to trigger a worldwide thermonuclear war as described in the Bible, in the book of Revelation chapter 6, and in Jeremiah, in the book of Jeremiah. So, and then of course, the one who brokers the deal, the seven-year deal with Israel, which is later, he betrays that deal after three and a half years. Well, the one who brokers the deal is the Antichrist. So, I'm just saying... Things are getting hot in this world, and uh, I'm excited, man. I just, I can't wait to see it all come down, even though I know there's going to be great tribulation, 
And even the Bible says, you know, there's going to be a point that it requires patient endurance on the part of the saints and those who serve God. When the mark of the beast comes out, you won't be able to buy anything, eat anything. People will be betrayed. A bunch of people are going to be falling away. It's going to be crazy. But I'm excited because that just means we're close to being with God. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm not sure, 100% sure, but mark my words. If in the next year there's a seven-year deal, no nuke deal, with Israel and Iran, that means you have three and a half years to be ready. And if you want to avoid thermonuclear meltdown, you need to not be in a major city. Get out of New York, get out of Chicago, get out of LA, get out of Seattle, get out of... Don't be... Don't be living right next door to a military base either, okay? And be ready. Have some water, have a fallout shelter prepared. I'm just saying, those who love God and serve God, God's going to provide supernaturally. I believe people come walking right out of a mushroom cloud, supernaturally survive that because their heart wasn't ready. And you know what? After a thermonuclear war, so many people are going to be ready to get saved and get on their knees and accept Jesus and, and call out to God. A bunch of people are going to get saved. So if you're called to be an evangelist, you're going to step right into the miracles, signs and wonders, power of God, healings. God's going to use you. You're going to have peace. You're going to be like, I've, been, I've known this was going to happen for years. And people are going to be like, really? And you'll be like, you'll have peace. They're going to, they're going to, people are going to need answers. And those with Jesus in their heart are going to have the answers. So that's going to be the ultimate evangelistic opportunity. I'm just saying. And there's going to be miracles and signs and wonders. People are going to get healed. People are going to get touched by the Holy Spirit. Power of God is going to flow. But it's only going to be in the midst of this chaotic disaster. But praise God. Now. I'm excited, but I can't guarantee you that what I'm saying is directly from God because I really don't know. I just know that, praise the Lord, man. That's all I'm saying.